Let me tell you this. The spirit of prophecy is Jesus. There is no way in the Bible that it says that no woman should wear trousers. If you find one, I'll stop serving God. What the Bible says in Deuteronomy is that a woman should not wear what pertains to a man. This is human being psychology which he has met. Where is that scripture? Ever let's read. A woman shall not wear anything that pertains to a man. Nor shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all who do so are an abomination to the Lord your God. Now read on. He said that a woman or nobody should wear. Your top is cotton, right? Your dime is what? Jeans. You won't go to heaven. If that is in the Bible. Go up. He says that you should not miss silk and cotton. Why is it trousers? When you, when you hear people talking, it's a spirit. Let me tell you, that familiar, that familiar spirit is called the spirit of religion. Let me go to, where is the cotton? You can take your seat. Oh, go up, go up. Where, where he said, um, cotton or wood, they must not put it together. So like me like this, I'll go to heaven because they are the same. <laughs> Now, most of you, they coat one and leave the other. Okay, read, go. The same, you shall not wear a garment of different sort, such as wool, linen, mixed together. Why don't they talk about this? Do you know why God even said this? Because your body must receive the same level of temperature at the same time. Your part of your body, what you wear affects the temperature that your body works in. me to Psalm 133. You see, Jesus, when he was on earth, he was wearing gown. The woman touched the gown of Jesus' cloth. Gown? Which people wear gown today? Is it men or women? Why would Jesus wear gown? Jesus should not go to heaven. Now, read. Everybody read. Where you got to? Um, Aaron, read, go. Uh -huh. Oh. It's like the precious ointment that ran down from the beard of Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his. So Aaron was wearing, can you wear skirt, Aaron? Aaron, how can you wear skirt and go to the temple? Only you also, the whole Israel, once a year, only Aaron goes there. Aaron, you wore skirt. Where is trousers? There is no one single word called trouser in the Bible. Now, I'll give you another scripture. Go to Colossians. Chapter 2, verse 15. Let me tell you this. Okay? Let me teach you this. Chapter 2, I said verse what? Verse 16. Let me read it and I tell you this. Okay, let's, let no man therefore judge you in meat, nor or in or in respect of an or of the or of the say, let me go to check this. No. Why? If we talk because they are dealt with the principalities and powers that were in charge of those things. Let me move on. Let me tell you a nice story. My first book I wrote wanted dead or alive. I said something in the book. The fact that I have the hair of a Samson, which is dreadlock seven, doesn't mean eh, I'll be strong like Samson. If I do seven locks, let your child from childhood not take 
Obey the exact things that Samson obeyed, the Nazarene law, and see if they won't beat you. Let's, let's go and carry it. You will regret. When God came to Judges chapter 14, the parents of Samson, he told them that you, mother, because of the child you are about to born, you yourself don't take a home. It's not easy. Samson himself, whatever Samson was going to obey, mother has to start leaving it. So that it will flow through the genes of the mother to the child. Sometimes God gives people their rules. God can give someone a rule. That doesn't mean God has given all of us rule. That rule God gave was for Samson and the mother. It was not for Samson's sister. Samson's sister and brothers are not supposed to obey that rule. Please, is somebody listen to me. It was Samson who was supposed to obey that rule. Okay. When God called me, he said, I should move towards this side of the Star Church. You, where has he sent you? Maybe he says, go to Katwa or Canada. And I tell you, God says, we should move here. It is not me. It is me. Sometimes God will give you rules based on your weakness. God foresaw that Samson's weakness will be women. And the women too, they will use alcohol. And they will use food. So God gave him rules to guide the anointing. And every anointed person has specific rules they are supposed to obey. Let me give you an example. God told Hosea, go and marry a prostitute. Ebeo. Hosea, marry who? Prostitute. She married a prostitute. The prostitute gave birth and so went and slept with people. Ah! And now she was begging men to sleep with her and she would pay them. And the men slept with her and now she was owing the men. So she was for sale. And God said, prophet, go and buy her. Wait a minute. So if I am Hosea, does it mean every member of my church should do that? Another one. God to Ezekiel, lie on your left side. Just for two years, don't move. So you come to my church every day. And when I'm doing ministration, I'm lying down left. For two years, I'm not moving. And I say, you to God says, all of us, we should lie down two years. Come back there. You go and work and bring me. As I'm lying down, eat. Let's stop this. Whenever people say, God said, look, angels, they are fallen angels. Demons that come as angels of light who reveal things to people as if they have seen. When people are talking, check it from the Bible. A lot of what they are saying is not biblical. It's, a, it's their own lifestyle and doctrine. And one of them is that person who says he went to heaven. Go heaven. When I was young, let me tell you a story. When I was young, I went to Africa, 19, eh, two, 1999, 2000 or so. I was in Africa. I met Ghanaian prostitutes there. And I asked them, what were you doing here? You know what they told me? They told them that in Africos, uh, you, you are in Africos. There's a place in Africos, only white people stay there. Only white people stay there. You know what they do? They pick Ghanaian and Nigerian women. They said they are giving, taking them to America. And they take them, buy them tickets, they don't know. And they drop them in um, Africos and they take them into the white people's hotel. So if you go there, you see all the places as white. They leave you. The following day, you are there. They come and say, out of the hotel, your bill is up. Say, ah, but we are in America. You go, they say, this is Cote d'Ivoire. So some people, they went somewhere in a dream and say, went to heaven. They have not gone anywhere. Maybe they went to America. They saw a vision of America. They have not gone to any heaven. But you stop lying in the name of God. If you want to look, if you want to say things about God, go everything. Look, anytime I say something, I try to give you a scripture. Now, this person that said, you know, I was listening. As soon as I said, anybody who wants to rise, anybody who does makeup, I can show you in the Bible. But some of you will be Israel, they had nose rings, nose rings. 
God says, remove the rings in your nose. They want those rings. I didn't say go and do it. <laughs> and so God was speaking to them. We were here in this Ghana. That is anybody who does nails will go to hell. Let me tell you this. Most of these people, they, don't, they are not very educated. The next thing about them is that they read the tree Bible. The tree Bible has a lot of evil translation. In the tree Bible, Elijah is a woman. In the tree Bible. Well, if you have tree Bible, check it. He's a woman, not a man. Okay, let me give you another tree translation which is wrong. Um, the blessings of the Lord makes rich and the added no sorrow. They have used to destroy a lot of Christians. Read a tree that she said, Nyamie Juma Asude, Onfa, Onfa Obran Kao, into the third Christian is that, don't suffer. Yeah, if, if God blesses you, don't suffer. That's the tree Bible. The blessing of the Lord makes rich and he has no sorrow. They translated it to mean that if God is blessed, you don't suffer. Then, why did Joseph suffer? Jesus himself, he suffered. That is why me, when I'm reading the Bible, I check the Greek and the Hebrew, the original manuscript, to check what is the meaning. Because a lot of the translation... I'll be on the translation. That's why this is New King James. This is King James who, wrote, who translated it. There is another one called King James. There's another one called New Living Translation. There's another one called American Standard Version. Oh, we are translating it here. Sound of familiar space, we are translating it here. So most people don't know that currently NIV Bible has been bought by the gays. So I have to use NIV for translation. So they have changed things like damn cell. Or virgin, Mary, to make a damsel so that virginity will not be protected. But King James said Mary was a virgin. Read NIV. There was a nice damsel. 